Hey, welcome everybody to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. How's it going? So guys, I'm doing a little uh, Monday read for you and what to expect in the upcoming week. And this is for, I wrote the date down, but I forgot it already. <laughs> Monday the 30th. So um, hopefully this resonates, guys. And I hope you enjoy the reading. I'm going to do this with the, the Essential Tarot Card Deck. So I never remember what day it is. So um, it's not uncommon for me to forget the time or date. So bear with me while I shuffle in here, guys. So the first card is going to look at, and it, the, the spread when I looked it up, it literally just says me now. So it's going to look at how you're feeling, um, your current energies. And let's see if we can pull you a nice card here for your Monday read. Okay, so let's keep that one. Oh, this is nice, guys. And this is not really surprising here. And I know these are really hard to see. Um, the Essential Tarot. So we've got the Six of Cups. So you could be feeling a little bit nostalgic. And that's not um, anything really unusual as the year winds down to a close and you're coming up onto um, 2020. Um, very interesting card here. There could be somebody coming back for you. Um, you know, a friend or an ex-lover. I'm just seeing... Um, like the memories coming to the forefront and if you're a believer like I am that your thoughts manifest your reality then somebody could be coming in for you and it's through this force of your kind of looking at a memory with the, this warm fondness so this is really cool to start you off with so let's see the energies at play in the coming week here guys so we've got the high priestess so something definitely is afoot here for you. Um, High Priestess is really like this magical being and she's very highly intuitive. Um, I'm just getting like there's so much magic around you guys right now. And what I'm seeing is, you know, be really careful about what it is that you're trying to manifest because it's going to happen for you. Um, there's something going on. Uh, I'm feeling this really deep energy of manifestation powers so like if you don't want your ex to come back you maybe want to nip those thoughts in the bud you know what i mean or if you eliminated something from your life for a reason um <clears throat> you know maybe just just brush those thoughts off and keep going but if you do want a situation to recur or you want a second chance at somebody or something like keep up the thoughts because it's going to happen with the high priestess here um you know, and I see many of you could be journaling or um, writing out resolutions for what you want to happen in the new year. So I, I'm, there's portals open here, you guys. The skies are going crazy with all these majestic um, events. So uh, be careful what you wish for, really, because, you know, your wishes do come true. So let's see. The third card is the advice card. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. This is a juicy reading, guys. So we have the lover's card here. So like I said with the first card, some of you could be having your ex come back. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what your relationship was like. So uh, yeah, so I'm really just seeing, wow, you guys, it's just really overpowering. I'm seeing that for many of you that X is going to come back that you really want it to come back because you're you're really just thinking that you know your life could have been so much different if you had stayed with that person but I think you guys had to walk different paths until you came back to where you are right now so I think you've got some pretty crazy energy going on around you and a second chance is coming back for you guys whether it's friendship whether it's a lover or whether it's a job opportunity um, I keep on getting this this song in my head the cat came back the very next day so something is coming back for you the boomerang effect is in effect for you guys so really brace yourself for that thing that you want or don't want to come back so this is kind of a cool read and I hope you think so too I'll see you back here next time bye